everybody. Sorry it's been so long since the last tutorial. Uh, what's been going on is I changed my last name to Baldwin and uh, before Alec and the guys would let me actually properly join the family I had to have some surgery to kind of change my voice make myself sound a little bit more like them. Actually that's that's not true. That's, that's entirely false. Um, been really busy and you can read about what's been going on the past three months in the first of my ten novel series which is uh, first book due out next year. Um, anyway, seriously, let's get on with things. Uh, this looks like a pretty good venue to do our first bit of this tutorial, which is going to be on Sinalera's projector feature. So the first thing to remember about the projector feature in Sinalera is that it is basically a projector. Um, if you pull the projector back, you're going to make the image bigger. If you push the projector in, you're going to make the image smaller. And you can move the image to the left, to the right, up, down. Um, but you are always going to be constrained by whatever your frame is. Um, this is a great feature if you're going to do like a watermark, project things different places, uh, position yourself on a mat. It's a good way to do things. So let's get over into our desktop and see how to make this happen. Okay, so what we're going to do to demonstrate projector automation is project this little guy here onto our video. This is a PNG file with a transparent background. That's the way to go. Made it in the GIMP. So what we're going to want to do here is make our tracks that we're not going to want to alter safe. Go up here to video and add a track. It's going to add it to the top of the project, which is exactly where we want it. We're ready to work with it. Let's right click on our PNG file and paste. Now I have set it in the settings which we've gone through in the first tutorial to import my pictures with a period of five seconds. So what we're going to want to do here, since we want this on for more than five seconds, is click and drag to the end of the project. Make a little overlap just in case. And there we go. But the problem is, he's right in the middle of everything. We don't want that. We want him over here. So we're going to click on not camera automation, but projector automation. And it is the active track that is receiving the uh, tweaks. So, we go down here, and we are going to show the tool info. And there you have it. You got your X, Y, and Z axes, and you can tweak those however you need to. The cool thing about this control is, you can also do it in real time. See, we're going to move it here, and you can see it move. And you can see it move. And that's going to take forever to do it. So what you can do is you just go over here and put them wherever you want them. So, we want to first of all zero this out. So that he is dead center. And then we're going to want to make him smaller. So we are going to go to the Z value and adjust it down and watch what happens. Do, do, do. And let's go with a uh, 3.35. Uh, that looks probably about good. And then we're going to take him and drag him down here. There we go. Now <laughs> we've got this. watermark. Now you can also get into doing, to doing things a little bit more advanced. Since this is um, Sinalera, you can add keyframes. So we can have this guy fly from one corner to the next. A very easy way to do that is make sure you are viewing the projector X, Y, and Z. So that you can edit those. And then we're going to 
show our tool info. And let's just give this a little oblivion so that it records the position. All right. And then let's say we want to take about 10 seconds and uh, then move to the top left corner. So we just grab this guy here, move him to the top left, and that's all there is to it. Now, if we want a smooth motion instead of a start slow, you know, S curve, what we want to do here is we highlight the area, go to keyframes, straighten curves. Now, what we've got is there it goes. <laughs> now you want to remember if you're moving something, unless you're trying to duplicate some kind of a camera motion, to straighten those curves or you'll get little stops and starts along the way if you want to put in different paths because you can make this guy loop all over the screen if you want to. Kind of like uh, this scene I did here in, uh, in my headache video. I used several projectors and several little light sources I made in the GIMP and just moved them around. So now you are familiar with the camera. Another thing you can do with this in addition to watermarks is to project yourself onto something like say you've got a picture of a bridge and you can green screen yourself into it. Same principle here. So have fun with that. And we are going to move on now to the camera automation.